Right, it's the 12th. 12th of September 2019. I've just come up from Porlock, past the church of St. Jubercusp, along the Drang, up towards Dove Hay, up a narrow track, past several houses, really lovely houses with beautiful, beautiful views over the coombe. Um, and one's called Trix Coombs, which means between coombs. I think that's lovely on their house. Another one's called Dove Hay. And I've come to the what's called the Deer Gate. Because <laughs> apparently they've tried to keep the deer out of Porlock Village. But deer are very, very clever. So, here I am. I just wonder how you get in here. Um, and that, ah, every little gate seems to have these little tiny individual things. Look at that. It looks like a key, doesn't it? I love things like that, you know. Oldie worldy trees and walls. Just lock it back into place. Lovely old track, look, from the Quantock. So that's the Exmoor now. We're on Exmoor. And we got a sign, Dover Haywood, of the Holnicott Estate, which I went on a lot last year. And I was exploring all the various walks. And I got to know them quite well, but I can't remember any names exactly. But something like that brings it back. Now, I've got to go up there. It's not very, I'm not supposed, it's going to be dull, put it this way. If the photography doesn't come out very well, I'm sorry, I have to apologise. It's not my, or my camera. It's, there's no blue sky apparently until much, much later. So this is red deer country, by the way. And it's almost the rutting season. So you never know. I'm climbing up, of course. I've been climbing up since the campsite. I didn't. I never have a good night the first night unless it's been a long drive and I'm exhausted, because it wasn't a really long drive. I took a while to settle. Really, I was awake most of the night. Well, I felt like I was. I think I eventually fell off about three o'clock in the morning and didn't wake up to about eight. And I was going to get up at six, but it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. It's only just after ten o'clock in the morning. I literally got out of bed, put the kettle on. I'd already got the picnic half ready. I got the water, got, got to take an umbrella and a raincoat and waterproof trousers just in case it buckets down today. The rest of the week after today is supposed to be hunky-dory, David Bowie. Hunky-dory. Right, I'm following the instructions, which are very good. Um, I've got more detailed maps. I've got an ordnance survey map in my pocket as well. I've only just reached number one. Just gone through the gate. <laughs> I've got loads to do. Uh, but I'm, I won't, I am not going to Dunkery Beacon. If I do, it's an extra, but I don't plan to go there. He says, carry on the main track, don't divert. Right. Over and out for now, everyone. Well, I read up. Right, video. I think this is video two of day two. Now, further down, it's still happening to a certain extent, but further down there, thousands of ants are on the move. Honestly, this, this is like a motorway. There's hundreds of them. There must be a big nest, an ant hill somewhere. Anyway, so I've climbed up that ziggy zaggy path, and uh, I've got to look at the booklet again when I get by this tree. Ah, I can see a post. I can see a post. What does it say? Lee Hill. Yeah. Footpath to Lee Hill. There we are up there. Look, we're getting more exposed now, though. <sighs> oh. 
another way up would have been over there, look. Footpath to Lee Hill. Right then, that was, that was a strenuous climb, but I took my time. There is a lot of heavy mist here and there. It's coming and going with patches of blue sky. But they've predicted this all day, so I am a bit concerned. But I'm going to carry on. It's very humid anyway. I'm very damp anyway. But I've been protected by the trees for the last half an hour. So I haven't had to go out in that fine mist, which actually makes you wet. Right, over and out for now while I look at the book.